Like Luke, you want to explain to me what you're doing here and why you're doing it? Man, old Mott here, we're going to go look at some sheep. So he's issued me a tag and a license here. Pretty exciting. You get one for yourself? Yeah, we're going to go take a look and see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. He's only got two of the five sheep. He's going to look for another. It might be some from that side. Yeah, it might be looking in. These rocks grow sheep, you know. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. Austin's thinking if we go this way, around that way, if we don't see what we want over there, if we want to make a little sachet further up the East Fork or something, we'd already be on that side, so we didn't, you know. I have no idea where they're at right now exactly, but yeah. Well, so go hunting, that's the fun part, right? Yeah. You ready? Oh man, buddy, it's a dream. Took one quick shot, but I think we were a little low. What's the plan today? Well, most importantly, we got our nap. And now we're gonna traverse a few low saddles, see if we can find a new drainage to hunt. You didn't look at that one, because that one's high. It's the second yeah, one, it's right that, before that. Yeah, right. yeah, it looked real low. Yeah. That looks like a sheep right there, don't it? It is, it's moving. Yeah. There's always used lambs on that hill. Yeah, I think that's what they are. Eating blueberries. There's sheep to kill, man. So, my pro tip of the day when you have one small pebble in the bottom of your boot on your heel, even though it may not hurt now, it'll hurt later, so take the time to get it out. <laughs> what do you boys see? We're just looking for sheep. New country that we haven't hunted this year, so. Three smaller rams on the first mountain here, but definitely not in, no legal. And uh, it's, uh, it's that one that's in the clouds on the right side there. Had uh, eight rams found there. We're gonna go see if we can make it there. It was uh, five miles over there. We're gonna go through two big passes and uh, we'll go over there and try to find that big one and get up on him and get her done.
getting the rain jacket on, sissy. <laughs> don't give in, makes... don't give in! No! Push <laughs> forward, it'll stop! Maybe. That's the way we do it up here on this river. Oh, <laughs> uh, you make good film, Austin. You make good film. See you dry. See you dry. I'm not a golfer. Hey, Austin. I'm not a real big fan of the rain. <laughs> <laughs> well stated. <laughs> Brady's complaining all his uh, camera equipment's wet. And you can ring it out. Microphone's got a little juice in there, there Brady. <laughs> well, we decided here was far enough. Got our shelter set up. Everything is wet. A little bit of peak made. What do you think, Luke? Oh man, buddy, we're living large. We're living large. A little bit of wet gear, but that's okay. Weather's supposed to get better tomorrow. <laughs> What's the matter there? She's wet, man. Really wet. Put this on and hopes to dry it. But over there, there's a little hint of blue sky. So we decided to get out of the tent. It's uh, an early 9.45 in the morning. What's wrong? There's bushes and I can't jump that high. You're gonna fall in this one too? I think today he'll make her. I'm making all this noise because there's bears, grizzly bear cub tracks, on the track of wolves. If you've seen any sheep, let us know.
Yeah, we'll try to make a runway down here on the river. If we can't find anything good, we're going to need a food drop tonight because we're getting kind of low on food. So a fuel canister and some extra food, some meals would be fine. And uh, we'll start moving back north. What's the plan right now? The plan is we're at the south end of where we should hunt. So we're going to go make sure there's no ram hiding in this group. And then we're going to start the exodus back north to get picked up somewhere and hopefully moved. But everywhere from right here is a long way. <laughs> we got chicken pesto tonight from the peak refuel. Your accent took a turn. It's the best part of my day, peak. There's plenty of sheep, Austin. How come none of them has horns? Well, all these females have babies. Half are male, half are female, give or take. But for some reason, all we can find are baby rams and a ton of females. So we built a runway. Let's see if Mont will land here. Get us out of here. Anybody who, does, anybody who doesn't like doing this is crazy. That's it. <laughs> if you say so. This down. Right, and all of this is ours. But you're right, it's just this little spot right here. Don't show this on TV. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Anyway.
on the front of his shoulder. Reload. You see which one he is? I'm just glad tight. It's okay. It's okay. Dang, is that the wind? We're going on the shoulder. I'm not sure you pulled it right there. Just out of sight. Wait. God freaking dang it. How do we read that wind so bad on the first shot? In front of the shoulder, no hash mark. He's in view broadside. Oh, now he's walking again. Yeah. yeah. Nailed. Good shot. Watch him, watch him. Again, when he shoots again, you, when he stops, you can shoot again. Oh, front shoulder! Yeah! Good hit, buddy. Unless his heart's situated somewhere else. That's a dead rat. Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! Oh man, guys! He's... Oh! Oh no! Oh man! <laughs> yes! Oh. We almost didn't have it, but then we had it. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. Oh, buddy. Dude, you, you're killing me this I'm long sorry. distance stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, son of a gun. You guys. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the camera's on me. Don't That's why it, this camera stuff, man, but honestly, this it's, yeah, you can't even describe it. Like the words, I mean, it just can't, because, yeah. Oh. You guys, I have, a, I have a dull sheep on the ground, man. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it, man? <laughs> Can you? No. Dude, I can't believe it. I'm on the 15th. <laughs> oh. Hunters are home. <laughs> So it's like, how many years can you do stuff like this hard, you know, like we do, especially guiding stuff? So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I gotta do this any way possible. So man, you, you and my, man, you guys, I owe you, I mean, it's, I just can't say enough about you too. And dude, you know how many footsteps and how much you pound for an opportunity like that? And then when it's there, you rush it. And me and Jared have talked about this so many years now. It's like when the moment of truth comes, the last thing you need to do is say, I gotta shoot. That's the last thing. And when he takes two quick steps, you're like, he's leaving forever. Oh yeah. But he's like, not. Yeah, he's right there. Just relax. And like, we've talked about this many times. In fact, you talk about pro tips. That is the best pro tip <laughs> that I could ever tell anybody is when the last two seconds of the, the moment of truth, the last thing that should go through your mind is, is I got time and I'm going to squeeze this thing until it breaks. And that's that. <laughs> okay, man, before I go up there, I got to text my wife and tell her. Oh, no, no, honestly, man, my, my wife has been uh, holding down my fort now for 18 days. And, uh, man, mm -mm. unbelievable. With, and that's the bottom line. Without them, guys, you can't do this stuff, you know. You can't, you know, you, to be honest, Austin will tell you this too. Without a good woman, you can't leave uh, long enough because, you know, your kids are, they need you and stuff. So, anyways, thank you, honey, so much. Uh, yeah, can't say enough. Dude, this crazy sucker right here asked me if I wanted a Kit Kat when we're coming around here. I was like, shoot. I'm ready to drop my pack and run, but I'm. I'm I was ready to either fat. drop my pack and run or puke, one of the two. And he's like, <laughs> You want a Kit Kat? <laughs> I know. I never seen a tougher his guy with feet than you. He's walked with wet feet for a week now. They're tough. I'll give him that, but man, oh man, they stink. Oh, but no, honestly, like the the dream part of it is just when you think about something so much and so long and you know when you're guiding you're covering so many miles but you're doing it for somebody else well, and, and for you like I never thought I'd have this opportunity where I, I'd actually be able to do it myself and it's just I can't even describe it man dude let's we gotta go <laughs> oh what's going on oh, look at that 
That ain't the one you shot. No, it's not. Unbelievable, you guys. Whoa, man. Look at that. Hey, everything's freaking meant to be. Oh. If they died right there, you would have never found Dude, it. I need a drink out of it. <laughs> man, you guys. Oh, Dude, that's goodness. a big ram. <laughs> Hold him up. Look at that. You guys, are you serious? <laughs> I'm not, I'm a little shocked. Oh, right man. here. So, oh, you, you telling me you just walked up on that thing? Yeah, yeah, he's just laying here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. eleven. Holy smokes, you guys. Eleven year old deadhead in Dude, perfect condition. Perfect shape. <laughs> Yes! Those are big horns, dude. <laughs> oh, do you believe this day? <laughs> oh my goodness. What are the chances? Dude, unreal. <laughs> oh, what a day. It's just an overload, fellas. I don't know whether to laugh or to cry or to, to dance in the rain. Feels pretty good to be here, fellas. Very happy man. Feels good to be in camp. Really wet, but don't matter. We've got us a nice ram and great day. Couldn't have been better. A uh, little makeshift camp here, waiting on the airplanes. Got a tarp up. Brady's got a fire going. We're living the high life here in the complex. 